Hello everybody and welcome back to the Excel spreadsheet on the financial project on the quicking analysis. As you know this is this is about to calculate and deal with managing finance. So now I'm into the investment measures to calculate their net present value, the internal rate of return and the return on capital. Then I have to calculate the book value and depreciation. The book value beginning and ending and depreciation. So let's start with the net present value. Okay, now into the eternal rate of return. Now the return on capital. Okay, zero percentages on either. So now let's go and calculate the the beginning of the of the book value. Okay, for the depreciation, do the book value end because depreciation is the longest, and I mean the longest sum table in this entire Excel spreadsheet. It will take too much time. It will take like maybe over five minutes or something to get the full function table completed. So let's do the book value ending first. Okay. Okay, now we're into the most difficult position of this entire program. Appreciation is an if statement to start off. Thank you. 
Good boy. Star. This will take a while, so that give me, give me time to recheck the figures. Uh, welcome back here. Yeah. I finally, finally got to fix it. Sorry, took that took me a while. I had to fix the letters because most of them had to be related to the C letter. As you see, the appreciation was the longest as most and the most complicated much function table in, in this entire spreadsheet. So it's finally sorted, it's finally been fixed. So now I want to create a chart relating to the book value, beginning, ending, and appreciation. We'll create a line chart. And let's insert line and click this. Now go to my chart title and edit chart title. Book value appreciation chart. Now I want to move this into a new sheet. So I'm going to rename the sheet. Book value and appreciation chart. Don't 
don't want any grid lines explaining on this entire sheet. So what I want to do, go in my view tab and take off grid lines. I want to copy this chart into the into that chart, into the sheet. There we go. Well, you see the beginning has the biggest, biggest start. The same would be the ending and the appreciation is the shortest on the book values, the book value section. So I can cut this and get rid of this off the, off the sheet. Now, as you see, it's not just the book value appreciation I just fixed. I also fixed the other sections. I was able to get accurate answers. Very good. Gonna change a few bits. Change that to six point five. Discount twenty percent. Okay, so that's it. That's how to lay out the equity analysis of a financial project. So, I hope you all enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed this presenting this to all of you. There's a lot to take in. It is very complex and complicated. But finance, finance is not easy. I studied finance in college. I got a merit on it at the end. But I'm happy with it, and I, because of the mirror, I was able to augment my skills and be able to use the financial skills in the spreadsheet and do in the financial project. So that's it. So thank you all for watching this. See you all soon. Have a good evening and enjoy your day. Adios.